Man, I've been going through it, been keeping it too real. Man, I've been going through it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to get into it. Party going stupid. As soon as I step into it, ask about me, they tell me what one of them. Wow. I have not made one of these in a minute. Oh my god. Like months at least. Because I mean, I mean, it's already February in 2024. The last time I recorded something like this was probably like September, August. I have no idea. And there's a reason for that. I kind of wanted to get more comfortable with filming before I started doing like behind the scenes of the filming. Because you know, the job comes first and all. So I wanted to make sure that my vlogging doesn't get in the way of my actual work. And I wanted to improve the quality of my work before you know, spending time back on YouTube. But I feel like we're at a place now where I can start doing both simultaneously. We're gonna try, see how it goes. So it's actually the day before we go to UNC right now. Tomorrow we're heading over with the team, but right now we have practice. So I'm gonna go get changed and then we're gonna go to the facility. And we also have a meeting to make sure that everyone is aligned for tomorrow. And I'm trying not to be late. So change, pack the bag, and we're off. I can't bring myself to swim when I am drowning. I'm also a big fan of the direction that YouTube vlogs are taking right now. If I'm trying to watch a vlog on YouTube, I kind of want it to be slower paced instead of the really fast stuff, like all the attention grabbing stuff that we see on TikTok and Instagram reels every day. So every once in a while, I just try to look for a slower paced video and that's where I go to YouTube for. And so with all the creators now turning back into the direction of just relaxing and still high production stuff, but slower pace, I just, it made me a fan and I want to start vlogging again because of that. And we gotta grab our pack. If we forget this, we cannot get into the building. The, the goat. goat? You're the goat. The goat and the goat's brother. How are you? The goat and the bro, you're the goat. I was about to say, wait, that doesn't make no sense. You don't have a brother. Practice day. Mm -hmm. Also intern meeting day. <laughs> wait. When can I have all the assets that I need? Madison's mom, because I just need you to get Madison's. It's, sound heavy? It, yeah, it's it's sound focused. Okay. So um, you know me. Yeah. All right, it is UNC day and I'm running terribly late because I just got back from the groceries and it's already four. And I was supposed to leave at four and I still have to get changed. We have to first stop by the office to get some equipment and then we have to meet the rest of the team and then drive over. And I don't want to be the one keeping everybody waiting. I wear this shirt a lot, but it's literally the only thing that I have that's like representing my school. And if we're going away, then I kind of need to be representing my school. Well. Just for any games, really, I have to be representing my school, so. Also, I'm just gonna bring the hoodie that I was wearing because it's gonna be cold later. We're gonna get out at like midnight or something, and I don't wanna be stranded out in the cold with just a thin long sleeve. I lied, we're taking this one. It matches my shoes better. We also got a package that I may or may not open later. I know it's inside, but maybe, maybe, maybe I'll open it. This is the fit for today, brown shoes, so that's why I'm going with the tan hoodie. So now we gotta go to the office to pick up some gear. I'll come and slide by 8 p.m. And send a text to your DM. Buy honey for your fucking nails. Two honey for your fucking nails. You and your night of shoes to wear. So Equipment is secure. Now it's time to meet the rest of the team. Girl, I got you another dress. So bring your ass up on them stairs. So we were up the entire first quarter. We started off really well. I think within five minutes we were up by like seven or eight points. It was great. The fan representation was really good. Our shots were falling. It was just good energy in the home away gym and that's what we like to see. On top of that, our threes are falling. So that's always a good sign when our shooters are on point. But we just really didn't hang on to it and UNC already caught up by the end of the first quarter and we were down one. The second quarter came around and that's where things really started falling for us. UNC comes out the huddle, drops back to back shots and goes up by five. And even though we had a few good plays throughout the quarter, we only ended up shooting three for 21 from the field in that quarter alone. Just shots went up. We weren't too far behind, but UNC was picking up momentum and we are down seven at the half. 
The problem is with all the misses that we were having, we just went into the locker rooms with our heads down. We just did not feel good about our performance anymore. So I don't know whatever was said in the locker room because I didn't go in with them, obviously. But after the half, we came out really strong again. Our team was playing to win, they were hustling, they were running up and down, we had a couple good steals, and overall things were looking up. I thought we were going to come back. The problem is UNC was still outscoring us, even though it was by way less than what they were doing in the first half. We ended the quarter being outscored by only 4 points, which is good, but not really where we need to be in order to win the game. Energy was good though, like we had what we needed to win, we just got outscored, unfortunately. In the fourth quarter, despite our efforts, we only ended up tying the amount of points that were scored. So since we were down coming into the fourth, we ended up losing the game. NC State scored 70 points total, and UNC had 80 points. We lost by 10. It was tough. Honestly, I thought that it was a game that we were going to win, but UNC looked really strong in their home court. Me personally though, I had a lot of fun. I think it was good energy, and it was great to film. Also, I did sneak off before the game and ended up getting Raising Canes, so that kind of made up for the whole loss thing. We really need to get one of those at State. Honestly, it would just hit so crazy. So yeah, those are the game notes. Unfortunately, we lost, but hopefully we can take this energy and steamroll it into Duke on Sunday. I'm really looking forward to that game. I think it's going to be tough. It's an away game again, but I think we're going to take it home. Weird transition and back to the vlog. So we lost. I did get some really cool shots though. I was literally everywhere on that floor. I was behind the bleachers, I was underneath the basket, in the crowds, I was even up in the catwalk, and the catwalk shots are sick. The only problem is, it was kind of at the end of the game and we weren't scoring much at that point, so there's not much usable footage there, but it was really sick to be up there. Big props to UNC, they're a really great team. We just, you know, weren't out of top form, so it's all good. I did promise y'all an unboxing though, so let's get that box. Oh boy. Put the food to the side. We got more important things to worry about. Honestly, this took so long to get here, I thought I was just gonna have to cancel it. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't a Nike box. Ooh. We got some new basketball shoes. I'm very excited about these. I've been needing basketball shoes for so long because the current ones that I have are just a size too big and so my feet kind of slide around in them. It's just not the best. So hopefully these fit better. These are the sneakers. This is the inside. These are fire, bro. Oh my gosh. I was pretty worried that they were gonna be like bulky and like not soft, kind of hard to move in. But with the way that this squish is right now, I have no problems anymore. Dude, I am so excited to get on the court with these. This is what they look like together. Well, you can't really see because of my hand. Uh, uh. Here you go. These are fire, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. They got the little Kyrie things on the back. You know, I'm surprised to see them in a Nike box though. I kind of did not know that Kyrie was with Nike at any point in his career, but I also don't really follow basketball all that well. I just kind of play it sometimes recreationally. These are crazy though. When I saw the flowers on, oh my, mm. Yeah, these are mandatory. So since we lost the game, I don't actually have to make anything like a recap or anything. We kind of just don't post on social media, which gives me the flexibility for the night to just kind of do whatever I want. So right now I'm going to eat some buns and play some video games and kind of just call it a night. I don't really have any responsibilities after the game because we lost. Hopefully it'll be different for the next time, but for now I kind of just get to relax. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. I hope next time will be a different outcome and I get to show you a little bit more behind the scenes of how I create after the game. Unfortunately, the circumstances for this game did not turn out in our favor. There are definitely gonna be more coming though, so stay tuned and y'all have a great night. Thanks.